So what we're going to be doing today is reading over Shonen's thoughts on Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers. Each of us has written down what we think about the game with all the information that we have now, and I'll be reading the three opinions. So let's get right to it. So I guess we can start with me. Hi, I'm Fabian, a writer at Shonen Games, and instead of writing this from my office, I'm writing this from the offices of my healthcare provider. You see, I have to get my affairs in order, because sooner or later, I'll be playing Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker, and if I don't have the correct coverage, I'll probably die from the sicknesses this game will give me. When I heard that there would be a new Naruto title coming to the PS4 and Xbox One, I was pretty excited. Oh, ch oh, jeez. What are the maniacs at Bandai cook up this year? Naruto was a beloved franchise. Oh, Morty, you idiot. Can't you see that they, 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 they hate it now? They hate, they hate Naruto now. They hate it. We'll have to make a better one, Morty, with science, I thought. Before April 6, 2017, I lived in a world where I could look forward to the next Naruto game. But since then, I've, uh, I've crossed over into a dark, dark place. Is it that bad? Well, it looks that way. I've been a huge fan of Naruto for a very long time, and the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series was entertaining to say the least, but now we find ourselves waiting for Naruto Striker, as the fans call it, because the name is absolutely ridiculous, which is being developed, by the way, by the studio that brought you such critically acclaimed titles as Devil's Third, a game that scored a 43 on Metacritic, 3.5 on IGN, and a delicious 3 on GameSpot, and Devil's Third Online, which barely made it past a year before being shut down. Soleil Game Studios, a subsidiary of Valhalla Game Studios, is taking care of this one. Even though it looks like they were using a lot of storm animations for this title, at least the art style looks nice. The new art style should help the game run at a smooth frame rate, and that means the gameplay should be fairly smooth. That's enough for me, though, because I'm starting to talk positive about it, and I don't like it. I'll pass this on to the next writer. Let's see if their opinions differ. So the next opinion comes from Christian. He's one of our writers at Shonen Games, one of the heads of Shonen Games. Personally, I've never cared about the Ultimate Ninja Storm series, ever since his debut on the PS3, and always played the alternatives, such as the Broken Bond or the Clash of Ninja series. When both Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm and its sequel came out, it was nice to have alternatives, albeit on different systems. However, from 2011 and forward, it felt like all we got was Ultimate Ninja games, even on the PSP. There are a few games in the 3DS, such as the Naruto SD game, but I still stand by my statement. When Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker, or Naruto Striker for short, because my colleague Fabian said the name is ridiculous, got announced, I really liked what I was seeing initially, since it looks fresh and nothing like what we had before. I dislike how the character models look, and I get what they're going for, they're going for like a manga style, but it really makes the game look like it was designed for last generation systems. Two of my favorite things from the Clash of Ninja series were its free-for-all and tag team battles, which allowed four players to battle it out in singular or double matches respectively. The fact that Naruto Striker is going to feature four versus four battles with all eight players fighting simultaneously brought me some joy, especially with the new modes not seen in Naruto console games before, such as Capture the Flag, which is something we've seen in the anime and manga series before. However, the more we learned about the game, especially its gameplay, the more my disappointment overshadowed my excitement. The gameplay just looks stiff. While the movements look somewhat solid, the combat really seems off, and it kind of reminded me of Warriors Orochi 3's Versus mode, which isn't exactly very good. I believe that one should be open-minded when it comes to new games and give developers a chance to prove themselves, but there are scenarios where gamers have the right to be on the fence from the get-go. An example being how I was expecting Sword Art Online Lost Song to be bad, and it was because Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z was bad, both made by Art Dink. As Fabian pointed out, the game is being developed by Soleil, who has worked on the Devil's Third and Devil's Third Online, the latter being the online mode from Devil's Third released as a standalone on PC. However, honestly, while the online mode was fun, it's not off-field that the online mode shut down in less than nine months. I'm really hoping for Naruto Striker to be good, but with how things look now and Soleil's past track record, the game's future is looking bleak. So thanks to Christian, and next is going to be Kevin TGZ's opinion. I have a lot of mixed thoughts when it comes to Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. First, let me start off by saying I do like the visuals a lot, as it feels like the manga coming to life, despite Naruto's model looking quite ugly. 
The game also looks like a polished version of NNK, Naruto Naiteki Kensei, which is an open arena fighting game that moved from being a Half-Life mod to a Unity build. Whether or not the development team took inspiration from that game remains a mystery. Sadly, that's about as good as it gets for me. The rest just seems very grim. Despite the game being around 40% complete around the end of May, there were no public demos at E3 or this year's anime convention, which I found very alarming, especially because Dragon Ball Fighters, which was roughly 20% complete, had a playable demo. It made me wonder if Bandai were even confident in pushing this build out in its current state. The scans that were coming in at the time really did help keep the momentum going until we saw the trailers and recently some terrible gameplay shown up by Junko Takeuchi, the voice actress for Naruto. While she is definitely iconic, it doesn't help with the game's ability to stand on its own at all, especially when she had no idea how to play. Speaking of standing on its own, it's not hard to make Storm comparisons when most of the assets look like they were taken from previous Storm titles, which makes this game feel like a low-budget cash grab. I'm hoping that my opinion changes when a demo releases, because as it stands now, and Fabian is going to hate me for this, and yeah I am, it looks like an anime Overwatch title. That's disrespectful on the day that the Summer Games released, that's a horrible thing to say. But, <sighs> what do you guys think about this game? Do you guys Are you guys excited for Naruto to Boruto Strikers? What are your opinions? Are we all crazy? We all seem to have negative opinions. There's a little like saving graces here and there, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And I don't think any of us think it's going to be enough. So let me know if, what you guys think about the game. What you guys think about what's going on with Soleil Studios and why Bandai decided to choose them out of anyone to make a new Naruto game for the new consoles. Well, the new, you know what I mean? The consoles. Um, let us know what you think. Drop down in the comment section below, like the video, dislike the video, do whatever you want, and make sure when you subscribe, you press the uh, little bell thing there so you can stay up to date with all the new stuff that we got going on. It'll make sure that it notifies you when we have new up, uh, new videos coming up, and obviously lately we have a lot of new videos coming up. So hopefully that's a thing that continues in the future. We'll see you guys later. Peace.